Hi, thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time, my name is Faith. Thank you so much, or you can call me Miss Ndunge, as so many people call me. Right now, before, if someone would call me Ndunge, I'd know we've grown up in the same area or childhood friend. But nowadays, people call me Ndunge, and I understand that, oh, my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for being here to watch this video. Now, please stick to the end of this video. I have a thankful note to make and I want to do it at the end of the video because if I start with it, it will be so long and I want to get into this, into today's topic or into today's uh, video. So guys, first of all, first, I want to share with you the things that I've learned in 2022 or the hardest pill that I had to learn this year or the lessons that I've learned this year. And today being the last year of 2022, I felt like I should share these points that I have so that you, my viewers, if you want to learn with me so that 2023 can be better and the next video i'm going to do my 2023 plan so you don't want to miss that so these are the lessons that i learned in 2022 or the hardest pill that i had to swallow this year so number one whatever happens in the past year be thankful for them so this 2022 because i know I'm going to release this video on the New Year's Eve. So whatever has happened in your past years, 2020, uh, 2022, be it um, good and in bad, be thankful for them. Remember, guys, in our topic, I always say be thankful for everything. There is a lot. There is a lot of power in gratitude. And if you can, please be writing down the things that you're grateful for. And do not always, don't always forget the gift of life. Waking up is your kawaida. Waking up is not a normal thing. Being alive and waking up, it's not a normal thing. Sio kawaida kwamka. So, whatever happened in the past year, be thankful for them. Be it good and be it bad. Now, the other thing, the second thing that I learned is let things be. Let people go and don't chase for answers. Don't seek closure. Let what works and works and works. Don't expect expectations from people. So let people go. Let things go. Don't expect anything from anyone. Expectations is what makes us feel bad. Or expectations is what makes people, makes you or makes anyone feel bad of themselves or the other people. Don't expect anything from anyone. Whatever comes, comes. And whatever goes, goes. Don't even seek for closure. The other thing that I learned, the third point is accept situation for what they are. To leave people where they are. And not every action needs a reaction. Whew. Not every action needs a reaction. Anything that you cannot change. Actually, that's what I learned at the beginning of this year. Anything that you cannot change, let it go. Your peace of mind is very important. Your peace of mind and peace of heart is very important. All right? The other point is, it's okay to make mistake. Make mistake, forgive yourself, and move on. I think we've talked about this in our previous videos. Guys, if you don't know, uh, this channel is all about interior design and deco and also impact of positive thinking. And a lot of people have reached out to me and asked me, Wome po kifanya interior deco umetusa how sisi watu wa impact of positive thinking. What about us? You guys, I got you. Four people have reached out to me about that. And the people who said we used to react with you when you are doing impact of positive thinking. And it's like, Ume tuweka kando. I'm not put you. I'm so sorry, guys, if that's what it felt. But I'm back. I am back like I've never left. 2023. I'm dropping back to back. That doesn't mean that we are not doing interior. We will do interior. The other point, sorry, I'll finish uh, at the end of the video and tell you more about it. Growth can be painful. 
The other point that I learned is growth can be painful. We want to grow. We want to better in our lives. In every way we are growing, for better, it can be painful. And once you learn these things, it's easier for you. So whatever goals you're going to set for 2023, whatever growth you want for yourself in the coming year, just know in the process, it can be painful and it's okay. Protect your peace of mind and peace of heart at any particular point, okay? Ask for help, even if it terrifies you. Guys, I learned this from my best friend, Rhoda, and my sister. Ask for help, even if it terrifies you. You know, like, me, Sijuani Kutisha, me, I... Uh, I always find it so I, I I always find it so hard to ask for anything because I feel like I'm disturbing people. I don't know how to ask one thing, but I've learned to ask. For example, in a scenario we were stuck with Rhoda in a church. We wanted to go for a, a wedding venue. And Rhoda had a car, but I didn't have there was no enough space for me. So she decided to be with me so that we can look for a way to go for the both of us. So I was telling her we walk because it's not far. But for us, it was like the sun is too hot, we can't walk. Let me just ask for a, a ride for someone who is going that direction. I mean, all of us we are going to the reception, and all these cars, there are people who are going and they don't have any other they, this space in their car. And she asked. And it cost nothing. That person was so nice, um, hosted us in their car and took us to the venue. Ask, even if it terrifies you. That's what I mean. My sister too, she's not even scared of asking. She can ask for anything. She can say anything. And But for me, that's what I learned because for me, I used to keep for myself. I used to feel like I'm disturbing people. But I learned, ask, even ask for help, even if it terrifies you. All right. And the other tip that I learned, the lesson or the hardest pill that I had to swallow this year, being alone doesn't have to be lonely. Oh my God, guys, that is one thing that I appreciate because right now I am more of an introvert person being in my house, eating snacks and watching movie is right. All of the things that you want to do or you expect other people to do it for you, I already talked about this, do it for yourself, all right? So being alone is good. It's not lonely. And it gives you more time to have a meeting with yourself, speak with yourself, talk, have a kamkutano with yourself, you know, have a meeting with yourself and know what is up happening with your life, all right? The other lesson that I learned is don't trust easily. Oh, my God, don't... People outside here, child, don't trust easily. Some things break your heart, but fix your vision. Ooh. This one is one of the things. And one of the things I said, guys, is if you learn something, you write them down. So for me, if I learn some things, I always write them and I always reread them so that I do not forget. So some things break your heart, but fix your vision. I remember the beginning of this year, my heart was so broken. Oh, my heart was so broken. A lot of, I, I started the year with a lot of tears and a lot of tears, but I fixed my vision. And this is the same year that I also decided to start this YouTube channel and I was scared about it. See, and where I am right now. Thank you so much, guys, for subscribing. Rejection is redirection. That is the other point, guys rejection is direction because we feel rejected at some point maybe you want something you don't get it you applied for a lot of jobs you don't get it all you get is a, 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 a regret so we regret to inform you that you didn't qualify for this position but let me tell you one thing that is redirection all right so don't put yourself there that you've been rejected i've not gotten this this chance is not for me no it's redirection for your next so don't Hanging there, you know, hanging there. The other thing is, dreams are, irre are irrelevant if you don't have discipline. Dreams are irrelevant if you don't have discipline. Discipline is key. Whether you want to start a YouTube channel, whether you want to start a weight loss journey, the process, keep the discipline and you'll get there. People don't hurt you, expectations 
does. And that's what I told you in the beginning. Don't expect a lot from people. Just do you. Be you. And don't expect a lot from people. And last but not least, guys, in the list of what I learned is no matter how things are, no matter how difficult things are, no matter how hard situation it can be, it doesn't matter what has happened into your life. It doesn't matter you've lost a loved one, you've lost a job, you've lost a spouse, you've lost a marriage. It doesn't matter what has happened. The hardest thing that has happened in your life, things do get better. That is my last tip that I learned this year that things do get better with time. Okay, guys. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have learned something. These are my tips for this year that I've learned 2022 because I'm shooting this video on the last day of the year. So when I will, the next video will come with my planner for 2023. Before I forget and before I end this video, wow. Guys, this is a thankful note. First of all, I just want to say thank you to God. If it's not for God, I couldn't be here. If it's not for God, for the gift of life and good health, I'm not complaining. I just want to say thank you to God for this far that I've come. To the last day of the year, I am so grateful, guys. I am so grateful to God. And I want to thank Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I started this channel this year and oh my God, how I have grown is mind blowing. The year is ending and I'm at a thousand plus subscribers and all thanks to you. Thank you to everyone who have subscribed. Thank you to everyone who takes their time to come and watch my videos. I don't take it for granted. I pray to you guys every single day. I am so grateful for the people that I post the link on my YouTube channel to my social media, be it WhatsApp, Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, Facebook, and you just go direct, click the link and subscribe. You don't even ask questions. Oh my God, that thing moves me there are people who know me personally we don't talk for a long time but because they saw me upload the link they come and subscribe there are those who doesn't even know me personally thank you thank you those who watch and they have not subscribed thank you too but please can you subscribe 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 watch your roho <laughs> thank you so much and i want to thank a lot of materials Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much for giving my channel content. Thank you so much. Without you, I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank my sister so much. Oh my God. God bless you. You don't know. But all I can say is Ipo Siku. Thank you so much for making this YouTube channel grow. Thank you so much. Woo! Not to be crying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for holding me, for pushing me, for telling people who doesn't even know me to subscribe and they subscribe thank you Rhoda so much for your support thank you Kathy thank you okay you guys there's so many I don't know thank you Esther thank you oh oh my god your names let me not mention names because and then my people who started with me when I started my 30 something subscribers I have not forgotten you guys just hold on there. Thank you so much. And the new subscribers, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Mwah. The love that I have for you. Woo. And my returning subscribers, you people, those who have been with me from, oh my God, from when I started, I don't even know what to say. Oh God, this video, I think I'll just do another video to be grateful for you guys. I just want to say thank you for making my 2022 a blessed year. And I pray that Lord may bless you. I pray that the new year will be full of blessings in your life. And I pray that God may God fulfill the desires of your heart. Whatever that you've been asking for 2023, I pray that God will bless you. I pray that God will um, elevate you. I pray that God will open doors that you've been praying for to be opened. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a pastor, guys. But you don't know how happy I am. Um, you don't know how happy this has made me. And I want to also to say thank you for a YouTuber. And this year, God bless you. You always support me. You always share my videos. 
thank you and you don't even know me we've never met we've met in on this social media but you are a gem you're one of a kind god bless you thank you so much guys oh my god he video in a 30 minutes or one hour just giving a thankful note but i just want to say thank you guys i hope you've learned something from this episode and for the people for the four people who came to me and told me that they related with me when I started the impact of positive thinking. And it has been so long that I have not uploaded any video. Guys, I am sorry, but I have not forgotten you. 2023 is better. 2023, impact of positive thinking is coming back to back. As well as with Alocho Interiors. But Alocho Interiors videos will be strictly on Sundays. So I'm coming up with a planner whereby in the middle of the week, where impact of positive thinking now will come in. Thank you again. Thank you. I can say a lot of thank you and thank you notes. Thank you, Alocho Interiors. And as always, I will link Alocho Interiors um, contacts in the description box uh, below. And before I forget, the clients that always reach to us, they say we got your number from YouTube. Thank you. The class that have supported Alocho Interiors 2022, thank you. The class that have referred us to other clients and other clients, and that's how we've grown. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Oh my God, we received calls and like, I've gotten your number from YouTube. You don't know how that gives us so much joy. It's so much joy that God, oh, God bless you guys. And if for those clients that we've worked with and they have referred us to other people, God, our bless you guys. Ooh, thank you so much. On behalf of Alocho Interiors, thank you. And a happy new year, guys. Happy 2023. Mwah. God bless you. Bye.